you also talked a little bit about how much learning has changed, the way people learn, learning programs. What learning methods have you found effective and which ones are you using more of now yeah. at SAP? Um, so I think we've had a, uh, interesting shifts in trends over the years. There used to be you know, really a huge focus on instructor-led learning 15 years ago, and that was really the only way that learning happened. Um, and then, you know, so it was really sort of a delivery-centric model. You know, that's how I started. I started out as an instructor because I had a drama background, and so that was, oh, put her on a stage, that'll be fine. And then it really moved to a design model when the internet came online and we started having instructional design and web-based learning and things like that. So really the design became very important for distance-based learning. Now we really see sort of a governance-based model where you've got learning coming from every possible source um, and you really can't control it anymore. It's not the command and control learning department is the center of the universe anymore. You need to have a platform that's open to everything. So instructional design continues to be incredibly important moving forward. There's a lot of interesting research out there that says um, instructional design really is, you know, one of the most important skills and skill sets that uh, learning professionals need moving forward. So instructor-led learning continues to be incredibly important, but it needs to be very carefully used and used uh, in very specific situations when a very clear desired outcome is needed. And if you're going to bring people together, it needs to be experiential, role-based, gamified scenarios and um, business simulations, extremely interactive. You're, you're taking people's precious time and flying them from wherever to a central spot. Um, it needs to be a highly engaging experience. So the instructional designer is incredibly important to say when is it paramount for that experience to occur. And if you are going to bring people together, it needs to have that in, in incredibly engaging foundation. And then the instructional designer um, can also look at the needs analysis from the client and the expected business outcomes and say, when can we use a white paper, a webinar, you know, some other virtual format, things like that. So to answer your question, um, we employ all methodologies um, and uh, have found a lot of uh, fun lately in, in apps and MOOCs and things like that um, because people find that really interesting and that's really fun and it has a very specific purpose to address a very specific need. But I think just the importance of a, a highly professional instructional design team to understand what is appropriate, what methodology fits, what kind of content at what particular time for which particular audience uh, according to the business outcomes you're expecting.